For our first client component pattern, let's talk about the separation of client-only code. In an earlier video, we dived into the concept of server-only code in Next.js applications. In this video, we are flipping the script to focus on client-only code. Just as it is important to restrict certain operations to the server, it's equally important to confine some functionality to the client side. Client-only code typically interacts with browser-specific features like the DOM, the window object, local storage, etc., which are not available on the server. Ensuring that such code is executed only on the client side prevents errors during server-side rendering. To prevent unintended server-side usage of client-side code, we can use a package called client-only. Let's dive into VS Code and understand with an example. From earlier, we have server route, which is a server component, and client route, which is a client component. Let's remove the React slick code from before. Now with these in place, let's introduce our client-only function. In the source folder, within the utils folder, create a new file named clientutils.ts. Here, let's define a function intended solely for client-side use. Once again, our focus is on the concept of client-only code not the function's implementation details. Therefore, we will create a function with a simple log statement and return a string value. The function name is client side function, and this function might depend on various browser specific features like the window object and local storage, which are, of course, not available in a server side context. We return client result from this function. Now, let's import and use this function in our client route component. So const result is equal to client side function. Make sure to import the function at the top. And within the h1 tag, we can bind result. I will remove the style for now, as white font color is better for readability. When this component is rendered in the browser, you should see the function log messages in the browser console. This confirms that the code is executing on the client side as intended. Now let's safeguard our client-only code by installing and using the client-only package. So in the terminal, run the command npm install client-only. By importing client only in a module, we ensure that the module triggers a build time error if it is mistakenly included in server side code. Now, if someone accidentally tries to use our client side function in a server component, the build process will fail. So const client result is equal to client side function and we are invoking this function in server route, which is a server component. In the terminal, you should see the error, which acts as a clear signal to developers about the inappropriate use of client-specific code in a server context, thereby preventing potential errors and ensuring that our application adheres to the intended architectural patterns. When we navigate to slash server route, we should once again see the error. In summary, just as server-only code needs isolation, client-only code must be confined to the client side to leverage browser-specific features effectively. The client-only package serves as a guardrail, ensuring that our client-side code remains where it belongs, enhancing our app's reliability and maintainability. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.